Today, a post submitted to Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter belongs to these corporations, rather than the creator who posted it. And the monetization goes predominantly to these corporations as a result. In contrast, Dezo stores all of its data on a public blockchain, which means that anyone in the world can run a node that exposes their own curated feed. The blockchain technology has been trying to get into the social media for a long while now, but we are yet to see a fully adoptive system so far. We have discussed some related video on our channel, like the Discover which is built on the ICP blockchain, or Silo with a messaging concept on the blockchain. If you have not seen any of these, kindly take a look right after this. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one channel for tech and blockchain product education. Today we will be discussing decentralized social network. We will be looking into what the project is all about, how it works, some important features of the project, and its tokenomics. Before we continue, kindly note that this video is sponsored by the like button, so please hit that like button. Furthermore, we work hard creating each video in a good way to encourage us is to subscribe to our channel, so please hit that subscribe button. Now guys, let's get into it. Launched in 2021 by the Dezo Foundation, the Decentralized Social Network is a next-generation blockchain project. The Decentralized Social Network also known as Dezo Blockchain Project presents a specialized chain for hosting decentralized social media platforms and applications. The Dezo blockchain native asset, Dezo Coin, is fundamental to the security and operations across the Dezo ecosystem. Moreover, the project offers novel ways for content creators to generate income streams and to engage with their audiences. Additionally, users of the decentralized social blockchain have full autonomy over their data and the content they see. Importantly, there is a strong incentive for publishers to contribute data back to the blockchain because not doing so would deter the top creators from wanting to publish on them. After all, why would you publish solely on a closed platform that exclusively owns your data when you could additionally publish to the blockchain and have your post instantly available to every node or feed that's running on the internet? The Dezo blockchain is the first to operate specifically as a decentralized social blockchain. Accordingly, to facilitate a smooth user experience, Dezo is introducing some novel blockchain architecture. Now let's look into how decentralized social blockchain works. The decentralized social blockchain operates as a sovereign, specialized, and decentralized chain. Furthermore, the project aims to store as much data as possible as immutable records on the Dezo blockchain. Moreover, the project states its commitment is to adjust the architecture of the chain by whatever means necessary to maintain this. Furthermore, the decentralized social blockchain stores vast amounts of data on-chain, including all activities across each decentralized social media platform or application. Examples include posts, comments, social tipping, social token transactions, and Dezo coin activity. Moreover, all profiles, profile verification, and activities with non-fungible tokens are stored on the Dezo blockchain. Additionally, while the blockchain stores user messages, including private messages, it uses cryptographic encryption, offering the utmost privacy and security. Guys if you have not liked this video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Now, let's take a dive into Dezo ecosystem. The first is Dezo identity. Users who sign up to use the decentralized social network blockchain will first need to create a Dezo identity. A Dezo identity is like a portable profile that allows users to interact across multiple decentralized social media platforms. Moreover, by using the Dezo identity mechanism, users' followers can see the activities of their favorite influencers and profiles. Second is the content creators. With traditional centralized social media platforms, content creators seldom receive fair compensation for their work. However, the decentralized social network aims to change this with many different avenues creators can take to generate income. This includes the use of diamonds, a new form of social tipping. Users can tip creators using diamonds, similar to a like button, resulting in a donation with actual monetary value. The project states that some Dezo creators have earned thousands of dollars in tips from diamonds in a single day with a modest following. Other ways content creators on the Dezo blockchain can earn an income includes using creator coins and social non-fungible tokens. Additionally, creator coins can operate as a mechanism for reducing spam messages. Creators could set a minimum number of coins to access and read messages such as one creator coin per message. 
The third is social DZO NFTs. The decentralized social network project is introducing new ways to interact with NFTs. DZO NFTs and decentralized social media platforms on the DZO blockchain offer new social means of investing and holding NFT assets. Fourth feature is DZO nodes. The DZO nodes are responsible for collating and broadcasting content from across the DZO ecosystem. Moreover, upon installing the node software, the DZO nodes gain access to the DZO firehose. The DZO Firehose features every single piece of data on the DZO blockchain. Further, DZO nodes have full control over the content streaming from the DZO Firehouse. Finally, let's look into DZO Coin. DZO is the native crypto token of the DZO blockchain. Although every profile on the DZO network gets its own coin that anybody can buy and sell. These coins are called creator coins, and you can have your own coin too simply by creating a profile but they are actually different from the DZO native coin. DZO coin operates similarly to the native cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum. DZO coin is the medium of exchange across the DZO blockchain ecosystem. DZO coin also grants holders a governance right, although DZO foundation will initially control the, the platform parameters in conjunction with the community contributions, but over time the DZO coin holders will be able to vote on updates on the decentralized social network project. The total supply is about 10.8 million. With a market capitalization of about $443 million plus. Currently selling at $45 per DZO. DZO is a new type of blockchain designed to power Web 3.0 decentralized social networks. Since its inception in 2019, DZO aims to solve the problems created by present social media centralization. Guys, this is not a financial advice, so kindly do your own research. However, today, a handful of private companies effectively control public discourse, earning monopoly profits. Meanwhile, the creators who actually produce the content are often underpaid and underengaged. In contrast, Dizo's social blockchain treats social media content as a public utility, making it permissionless and available to anyone. Dizo combines the paradigm of open P2P financial system offered by cryptocurrencies with an efficient and scalable database infrastructure, tailored to bring about the next generation of Web 3.0 social networks. Today, there are over 100 apps built on the Dizo blockchain, including Diamond, Polygram, CloudFeed, Pulse, and Supernovas. Don't hesitate to let us know what you think about the Dizo project in the comments section, and let us know what you will like us to discuss on this channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel, don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post a video on this channel. See you next time.